Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to make use of this calculator Canon F960SG to help us to find standard deviation. Alright, so this is where the formula is. So given this data, 3, 6, 8, 11, 12, how do we get this standard deviation using the calculator? So for A part 1, I'm going to make use of this. Step 1, I do want to check whether... Um, yes, mode, statistic 2, press the one variable, number 1. And if your calculator have the frequency table, it's fine. All this data is just 1 each. So my x will be 3. 6 press equal to key in 8 11 and 12 and that's one of damage so it's fine to have the frequency table all right once we have successfully key in the data into the calculator press ca now is to retrieve this x square and x and the n right Press shift statistics here. So it's shift one. Well, we want all the summations. So I will have my number three as the sum. And I will have x squared and x. So the standard deviation for C will be equals to the square root of x square press equal please you will get 374 shift 1 again and this time round I do want to press 4 because that's where I get my n 5 anyway the n is pretty straightforward there are only 5 data here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so actually n is 5 Minus, shift, 1 again, the sum. But this time round, I want the x. 40, n is still 5. Make sure the square root is all the way here. And after which, shift, 1 again, number 4. Because number 3 here, this is our variant. 3.2863 to 5 significant figure. Final answer would be good to leave it in 3 significant figures. And I repeat this for A part 2. So the variance for D, set theta D is equals to the square root of. Now I will need to reset this button to clear all the data. So I press shift, clear, clear the memory. Uh, yes. Okay. Now, again, we are going to the mode, number two, number one, to key in the values. Notice that all the data has been cleared. So now it's 2, 5, 7, 16, 20. 2, 5 equal, 7, 16 equal, and 20 equal. CA, shift, 1, 3, 1. I will get 7, 3, 4. Again, I know this is 5 because there's only 5 numbers. Minus something bracket square and this number would be shift one again number three and there press the two fifty then shift one again number four is all the variance number three button number three will give me my standard deviation of six point eight four 4, 1, 1. 5 significant figure, 6.84, 3 significant figure. 
all right so now we can compare the spread of the data of data set C with data set D um, using standard deviation so of course we do need to share with people that for part B the standard deviation of C is lesser than the standard deviation of this one is 3.29 D 6.84 do list out the value thus the data set C is less varied or you can say more consistent the spread sorry the spread of data set C is less varied or the spread is more consistent than that of data set D. With that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.